This is Austin with Full Line Ag. I'm here with Lucas with Gearinghoff. In front of us, we have our first Gearinghoff header. This is a TrueFlex Razor Air. So the true flex razor means like this head has two divisional flex. It has the hinge flex, so we have kind of three independent heads in one. The wings are flexible, hydraulic, so it's independent. Doesn't mean it doesn't matter if it's one side up and down. Can both both sides down, both sides up. And the razor means we can also get our cutter bar in full flex. If you have lentils, soybeans, beans short crops, we know winter sometimes coming here earlier, snow, the crops are rolled down, we put this head of full on razor sharp to ground on our skid plates, and yeah, it does a really good job in short crops. So we have a free split wheel, so also the wheel is splitting and hinging, if the wheel, if the wing f goes down a gap, also the wheel, so you have every time the height to bring the crops nice in. To adjust it, we have here a tool spot. You pin it out, whatever you want, you lock it in and it's adjusted. So you see right now it's a different timing on the reel. Of course, you need to do it on all three sides because they're all three independent. What are some features near this cutter bar that we can look at? So we see here a Schumacher cutter bar. It has our Soybean guards, heavy duty guards, they're shorter. Like if you run on the ground, they don't break too often. They are less maintained. You see also one knife is up, one knife is down. It's kind of a scissor. What, why the benefits is it keeps it nice smooth in the guards, plus it cuts it nicer, kind of a scissor cut. So it works smoother. When we move to the gearbox, you see one side, it's cutting, other side is resting. So what does that mean? So it's a good feature we see. So there's a 45 foot, there's for sure lots of pressure on. It runs hydraulic, so it takes the pressure off. It runs smoother, we don't need so much oil pressure. It's like small features who makes that and like benefits you. Just the little efficiencies. The knife drive, if you see it, it's not in time. And it doesn't over. You see? Okay, it's so the knife's not fresh. timed and it, they don't overlap. And it's not in time, what are the benefits that? So we don't have any vibrations. And for mechanics or also for the customer, if they want to change the knife or something breaks, this is with gears, so you cannot get it out of time. It's oh. like safety. Cool. Take the balls out, take the knife out. If you move it, it doesn't matter because they are in time all the time because of the gears. And if we keep coming along here, keep. I want to talk about the air. So this air system is made to keep the crops on the canvas and don't roll down. What we see in all headers, also on our header without the air system, here is all full with canola. The air system works just on the cover. When you have dust on it, you will see it all here with streams. The air system doesn't work on this height. It's only on short. You see how it gaps. So all the crops will make it behind there. They blow on. Crops will fall or rizzle down on the canvas. They will be stopping here and feed in. Here in West Canada, like I would say 80%, the heads have air system on it. When our reels are going and the grain's getting thrashed out essentially on our reels, anything that lands on this canvas goes into your hopper. If you go on the left, you see right away the panels, really slim designed. Our knife drive, double knife drive, 
This is not a kit. All our heads come with that semi-split reel, and you see how light, uh, how thin they are. Four inch. So also, if you move in the field, it's not like that. There, you you have less losses. Covers really easy. To change the dividers, also for that, no tools. Lock it up. Oh, take your vertical knife or other dividers. See that big gauge wheel? Yeah. The benefits, for sure, if it's wet, these will work. It's got a lot of Big flotation. tires, they're nice. If this header is calibrated, it's like a, it's kind of in the ocean. It floats back up. The wheels suck in and out, depends where you go. That you have every time a nice cut. So with this being hydraulic, say I'm doing my headlands with a combine and I have a couple fallen trees or a couple stumps that I can see on my headland, how can I get around it with these wheels? So these wheels, for sure, if it's uh, automatically uh, calibrated, everything works automatically. If you do like headlands, we can set up, if you do the right headland mode, uh, right side, and there's trees or whatever, we can automatically set this tire, say, hey, lift my wing. So we click it down and lift one side of the wing, cut it, the operator has less to check, to get the crop in. If you're done, you click on your auto mode and it goes back. Wow, it sucks really, it in. That's really cool. That's a cool feature. Our integrated oil cool system. So this header doesn't use any oil from your combine. We have an own oil in our frame. Only what this combine takes from the combine is the reel to drive automatically. That's the only side where we take from the combine. Another cool feature, LED lights. Not really much for the operates on the side, but what you notice for the, for the grain car driver, it's nice to have. This one is awesome. It's night. You may get a stone in, you don't know. You drive, you see the stone because of the light. Okay, yeah. it's out, you can go. See your stubble height, make sure it's always yeah. where it should be. And that's really nice for the grain cart driver. When it's dusty out and he's going and pulling up, you can actually see where the end of the com or end of the header is. Exactly. Thanks, Lucas. Thank you. Harvest can't come soon enough. <laughs> if you have any more questions about Gearinghoff or Fent Combines, give us a call at Full Line Ag and we can help you out.